You guys, is it cold where you are yet? It's already started to be like um, 40, 50 in the morning. At least that's how it feels to me. My feet are freezing, right? So let's get into these super cute earrings that we're gonna be making with multiple dangles. I'm so excited. And I have tons of ideas that I'm hoping I'll get to be able to share more frequently. Um, business hasn't slowed down, but I finally caught up. How about that, right? So let's get started on these. I hope you love them. I hope you'll make a pair and get your supplies out and let's create together. Maybe that's what I'll do next is we'll do like a live create. I don't know. What do you all think? Yes or no? Let me know if we should do like a live create together where I could put out the supply list and then we could all just hang out and chat and talk together. I've never done that before. I'm all about that life, but hey, let me know. Okay, God bless you guys. Stay tuned for the project. Hey, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do hanging earrings that are designed like you see, like the earring hook's gonna be up here and they're gonna hang downward. So first I have to drill the holes. So we're gonna have to drill the holes in a weird location. So a hole here, 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 there, and there. So you're gonna need two, four, six, eight holes. So I'm gonna mark it so I don't accidentally drill the hole <laughs> in the wrong place. So I think what I'm gonna do is mark one earring and then we'll use this earring as the template for the other side. And then you'll just use your jump rings to make the connections. So you'll be drilling eight holes. This is where having the wireless drill or some type of cordless drill would be a big benefit, let me line them back up, make sure I have them right, so. So they'll hang there, 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 and there. So I'm gonna go drill them off camera, and then what we'll do is match them up on each side, and we'll put the jump rings on there just so we can see if they hang properly, and then this is gonna be the top of my earring, even though I have them facing that way so you can see them, so. You probably won't need to put a hole at the top of your earring, but I'm just doing it so I can make sure I'm getting it in the center. And you I would need a probably a larger drill bit, but I'm not gonna dig through all my stuff and hunt the drill bits down. So let's go drill these and I'm back. Hey you guys, I'm not gonna lie, they were kind of hard to put back together. Because <laughs> after I drilled them, I got them out of order. So just pay attention, you're probably more left brain than I am. Sorry about that. So after I got the holes drilled in them and went to put them back together, I couldn't remember the shapes. So I went on and put them together to see how they're gonna hang, which I think are gonna be really pretty. So I'm not gonna paint them with the jump rings in them, but I'm trying to figure out, I might draw some arrows on them just to say, or like numbers, like number one, number two, number three, Number four, because of course we can erase the pen and paint over them. So all I did was number them on the backs, just so I'll know, you know, how to put them back together after I paint them. So I'm not sure what colors they're gonna be. I am leaning towards like some brown, because it's fall, right? And some really pretty flesh tone colors. Maybe some soon, I'm not sure. I don't know about that mint life, I don't know. So I'm still thinking about the 70s theme and just like some 70s muted colors. Cause we already did a 70s bold color, but I'm honestly not sure what they're gonna be. I just think I like the movement of them, how cute they are. And then you could always do another hole down there if you wanted to and do a dangle. So I'm gonna go put the other one together and make sure I have all the jump rings in the right place and number those and then we'll do that today. I decided to just go ahead and show y'all how I'm putting them together even if it might, if it might seem a little haphazard because hey, sometimes you gotta work through projects. Plus I've never done this before in terms of putting double jump rings in and stuff like that for things to hang and I wish there were colored jump rings. I'm sure they probably exist somewhere. I just never purchased them. And then you could paint your jump rings, but then they don't have that same slip to them once you paint them. So, I need one more jumpy of the ringsy, and make sure you're putting your fronts on the front and not your backs on the back, right? <laughs> so, I just gotta get one more jump ring for right there. Right there. So we're gonna add the last one. And really the only reason I put them together, even though we have to paint them, is just to make sure they fall the right way. 
before we go about painting and designing and putting it all together and then it doesn't hang right. So, I think it came out pretty cute. I like how they have the little overlap right there. I love that they have the movement. And then when you go to put the jump ring up here and the fish hook, they're gonna have a nice design movement to them. So, let me go put the paints together and we'll be back. Hey, you guys. So, um, I decided to go ahead and add another detail to these. Now, mind you, there's numbers on the back. I just felt like that was the easiest way for me to keep up with what was going on with all these moving parts. But I thought, you know, I want to have just a little bit more movement. Let me set y'all up. Huh? Okay, so I was just thinking I wanted a little bit more movement. And so... I added the little teardrop at the bottom. So you'll see, you probably can't see it, but right down there, the drill did touch the um, wood. But I drew a hole there, and then what I did was I put these on top of each other so I could get an even hole, and that is super, super cute. I'm thinking about painting these just on a really flat surface um, and moving around, making my way around the silver jump ring so then I don't have to take them apart again and get confused about the pieces and the parts and where they go. But these are gonna be really fantastic and just have a really great, great swing and just a really nice movement to them. So I just wanted to show you what they look like by adding this piece here. We're gonna go come up with the color scheme that we're gonna go with. I think I moved on past the 70s. This was the one we did last time, super cute. I don't know why these are sitting over here off to the side. These are the little jack-o'-lantern earrings we made. I'm still in the, I think I wanna make something Halloween stage, although I don't know why. I'm just in a fall mood, that's probably what it is. And these are just some I made before. Y'all remember those, those were called our swoosh earring design. So those just happen to be sitting beside me. So let me go figure out what our color palette is gonna be. And then I'm thinking about too, adding like some glitter or just some, some type of zhuzh just for these. But um, they're just gonna be super cute. Be right back. Hey, you guys, so I'm gonna use several different shades of paint, but they're all probably gonna be like in the, I'm not sure I like that color. I don't know, it's like a flesh tone. I'm not sure I like that or not. <clears throat> Which I know is a big thing, like you see people out here with the nude dresses on and stuff like that, but I don't know. We'll see once I put it on there, because we can always cover it up since it's so light. So I'm gonna go with like some totes, like this is called light tote. The other brown color we use, which is really pretty, is called Terracotta. The other color is Desert Sand. And this is called Bright Mint. Just thought it might be nice to throw a pop of green in there. And the first color, which was like the flesh tone, is actually called Flesh. I'm hollering, I had no idea. So I, I keep forgetting to get plates when I go to the Dollar Tree, because I like the paint on really pretty plates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint around the little jump rings. And I think that I'm gonna go ahead and start with this color and for no rhyme or reason, just because. And I really probably should take them apart, but they were just such a chore to put that together, so I'm not gonna do that. So, I'm just gonna work around the jump rings. And this may be the long way of doing it, which I know. So, for those of y'all that are, this is driving your OCD crazy, just know that when you go to make these, you can definitely <laughs> separate them. I don't mean to drive you daddy by doing this the hard way, but this works for me in terms of not trying to fight to put them back together. So, I'm gonna start with that coat there. And then I don't really have, sorry for reaching across the camera, a specific way that I wanna paint them. I just want all the circles to be different colors. So I'm gonna go with the flesh tone on this one. Well, that's really actually really pretty. It's like a peach, a peachy brown. I'm just gonna use this to hold stuff down. And I'm really working towards avoiding the jump rings because I don't want anything to affect their swing. You know what I mean? Like if they get um, paint on them or something and then they just don't swing all properly. So, happy Thursday. Not sure if y'all saw my post on, um, y'all might not follow me on Facebook, but my post over there I just talked about 
spiritual battle I've been having and I'll give you more details about it but just it's just been like a war going on in my spirit man and I was like what is really going on and the Holy Spirit basically shared with me that the enemy had waged war in the heavens you know because that's where the battle is fought the battle is fought in the high places in the heavens which is why we have to be here on earth on our knees praying because the angels and, the, and God are fighting for us in that realm. And I know that may sound churchy to some people, but hey, that's what the word says. So we bow, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. So it's not Garlinda's word, it's the word. And so I've been feeling that for the past few weeks. It's just been a significant fight. So yesterday in our insurance business, I received a promotion and was blessed to get that promotion in the shortest amount of time that anyone in our particular organization had done it. Not the whole company, but just the org the, um, the group I'm a part of. And I, I was excited about that. And I know that was nothing but the blessings of God. Because again, like I said, I have no prior insurance experience, but I do have years of sales experience. And really all it boils down to is relationships and connecting with people, which I'm a fan of. I love people and I love connecting with people. So let's do the one here next. Let's do the terracotta color. And I know it might not be looking like much now, but these things are gonna be super cute and sharp. Don't you worry, because that's what we do. Oh no. <laughs> See, that's what I get for being brandy to my, that's what we do. So let's hold that down a little bit. And then we're gonna let these dry. And then off camera, what I'm gonna do is go and touch up the edges and all that jazz. I won't bore you with that. I could use my little pokey tool to hold this. Let's just see. Closer. Let's see if I wipe that off. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do the other circle and then we're going to let this dry so then we can handle it however we want. I still want to do some spider earrings. I don't know if I told y'all that or not, but um, we're going to, um, maybe we don't hand out candy, but we always have our light out and people come with cute little things and put out your things, but. Halloween costumes on. I think this year I'm, I really want to get into fall and everything that relates to fall. I went to a football game last year. Last year. I went to a football game last weekend. It was so much fun. And um, our team won. My son goes to Campbell. So Campbell won 72 to 0. I felt so sorry for the other team. I literally said a prayer for them. I was like, that's going to be a long ride back to South Carolina. But I'm hoping that they'll all have a successful year. I don't want to mess this up, so let me get my pokey tool because I don't want to mess up a good tool because those little the black clay tools were not cheap. So let's just use the little pokey tool I've had since Jesus was about. That's a southern term. Do y'all say that way on? Sometimes I'll say when people are taking forever, like, they ain't going to be back or be finished until Moses comes back down an hour with a baby, but we know that's not going to happen. So anyway, I felt this battle going on in the heavens, and what it was was a fight for my promotion, right? The enemy was just trying to discourage me, get me out of character, get me to cut up, act the monkey. Transactions have been just whew, all over the place. I've been feeling so sorry for my buyer clients and my seller clients because they've had to deal with so much frustration. And you know, you feel that for people, um, especially with delays and stuff like that. And so shout out to my clients that actually found that found me here on YouTube. They are so sweet and wonderful. I won't call their names out because they didn't give me permission to. But they moved here from the Raleigh area and um, just so much fun to work with, so much fun to be around. And um, and the Linda just completely annoyed them. And I apologize y'all if I would annoyed you at any point. And so they just they pressed their way through. They got a great home and I'm just excited for them. So Here's where we are so far and what it looks like. We're gonna let this dry. Hold on, let me wipe off my stuff. Let me wipe off my stuff. So anyway, so I found out I got this promotion and that's what the enemy had been fighting me about. And so a lot of times when the enemy is doing battle against us or seems like, so I was going through all these different emotions, anger, sadness, fear, rudeness, frustration, anxiety. It was like this overwhelming sense of almost every day I feel like I was coming. And that's not my personality. Like I have a joyful personality. I got two moods. I'm either happy or all the way upset. Like it's no in-betweens. I'm not moody at all. 
So to be feeling those things, it just was so out of character. I was like, what is really going on? And then one day the Holy Spirit told me like the enemy waged war and we're doing battle in the high places in the spirit realm for you. And it was a, and, and one day I was gonna say, well, Lord, I, I was looking for a breakthrough, but God said, this isn't a breakthrough, this is a breaking for. Amen. Hi, you guys. Okay, so look, look how pretty they are. So now we're getting ready to zhuzh them all the way up. I think they're coming out really super cute. It's, it's actually nighttime, so I didn't, I don't have my lighting on, so hopefully it shows up really well for you. If not, forgive, have grace, mercy, and all that jazz. Look what I found. Okay, so super excited. I got these from the Dollar Tree. So I'm excited that I'm gonna use the spiders to make some earrings. Miriam, my 15 year old, asked me about the ants. The red ones are roaches. Y'all know I'm not doing anything with that. I don't know unless I decide to make something creative out of them. But um, but I love the spiders. So even though I'm, I don't normally make Halloween decorations and things like that, I don't know, I'm just in a fall mood. So. We're gonna see what we can make with those. They were a dollar and it came with a pack of eight. And so there's enough in here to make, um, I can't count, four pairs of earrings, eight rings, eight necklaces, you know, whatever you wanna do. So super excited about that. And um, so anyway, let's get going. So I have the, oh, look what else I got. So I could stop being just tacky and painting on the top of a, um, of a plastic container tray. But look, I thought this was so cool. I got this from the Dollar Store too. Got this from Dollar Tree yesterday. And then today I went back to Dollar Tree just specifically looking for spiders. They had what I thought were black spiders at the one I went to yesterday, but turns out those were scarabs. And I was like, nah, I don't that I want, I want actual spiders. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do, I've decided I wanted to do like some starburst, like a starburst design on the earrings. Let's move this one out of the way because y'all know how I do. I have a habit of getting paint on the other earring. So these are the colors I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna start with the purple and I'm gonna do it on the green. And so what I'm gonna do is I just want to do like some lines, right? To where it all kind of goes in the direction of the center of the earring. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it. And I'm not really doing any type of line like rhyme or reason. I'm just doing them that way. And so I'm just gonna do a series of lines that go like sun rays, for lack of a better word. But I want it to have like a starburst feel to it. And when I say starburst, I don't mean like the candy starburst. And sorry again for putting my hand in front of the camera. Let me see if I can do it that way. That might make more sense. So I think really if I was going to do a starburst, I should be bringing the lines closer in to the center. So let's do that. Let's bring them closer in. And you can do any design you want. I think I have that one going in the opposite direction from where I want it to go. But we can also do that when we add another color as well. And these colors are kind of off, like you normally wouldn't pick a mint green to go with a purple, but it's what I want to do. So that's what we're going to do. And of course, you can use any color that you want. I did see today in an article, it was talking about the Pantone colors for the fall. And even though we had already talked about that, I didn't look to see if any of the colors had changed, but I know that one of them is like this cobalt blue color. I know it's, um, what else? This blue color as well. I don't know what that's really called. Y'all might be able to hear my husband out there singing. I don't even know what he's singing. So, what are you all up to this weekend? We just came from dinner. I decided we did a family dinner. We just went to Red Lobster. It was not good, but the company was good. Cause I was with my family that the food was gross. And we did a phone-free dinner, so nobody had their phone on. I actually had left my phone in the car, which is, thank God, it was so nice just to be able to talk and not be on the phone and actually have a conversation. It forces you to talk, right? Y'all know how that is if you have children with phones and adults with phones, because, I mean, as adults, we're sometimes just as bad as the kids about 
life and focus and so it was really nice. I enjoyed it. So let's put one more over here. And again, you probably would want to separate your earrings so that um they're not so what's the word I'm looking for? Not all connected with the jump rings, but it was just like I said, easier for me to do it this way. So let's have a little bit more there. So pretty. So I think these are gonna be really pretty. So not think I know. So now we're gonna do the blue, I think, on this color right here. And we're gonna keep going. So I forgot to put water on the table, so I'll be right back. You guys, how about I thought it had been filming all along when I was doing the different lines and I was just talking away. It was not. So so sorry about that. So all I did was go through just like I did with the lines down here and I added all the different color lines. And it reminds me of like tribal jewelry. So I'm a fan of Southwest jewelry. I'm a fan of tribal type jewelry. And I think they're gonna come out so beautiful. So I'm sorry I didn't even get to share with you when I was doing the lines and picking the colors and stuff like that. And my lighting's not that great tonight because it's about nine o'clock at night and I just didn't feel like setting all the lighting up but I think it looks really pretty. Let me turn the camera around. Look how beautiful they're gonna be. So I think that once we, they finish drying and we get all the extra stuff on there that we're gonna add, I think are just gonna be incredible. So I love them. I think they're beautiful. We're gonna let them dry and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some designs on the back too. I'm not sure what yet. Um, just so they're pretty coming and going. And then we're gonna do something in the centers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the same color pattern because I like it. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is like swap out some of the colors. So like maybe bring the, that little light, this light teal um, over here in the center to continue with the spokes. Same thing over here, bring a different color over here for the spokes. But basically tie all these colors in together on the end. So it just has this uniform design using the same color pattern, but they are gonna be gorgeous.